everybody. Uh, hope you're doing well. I am back with another video. I'm hanging out in my older son's room. Um, you may have noticed that in one of the earlier videos I did on the Steamboat Willie set, um, I was in uh, a bedroom that appeared to be a child's bedroom. I forgot to mention in that video that that was my younger son's bedroom. Uh, it's just hard to find a quiet place uh, in the house these days with uh, the five of us here. So I'm in my older son's room hanging out. I got my friend's holiday armadillo sweatshirt on. Uh, it was uh, it was purchased last December for an ugly Christmas sweater uh, event. I got it for a couple of reasons, mainly because this is definitely my all-time favorite Friends episode. Uh, and even though it's the middle of April, I'm wearing it now, and the reason is simple. It's because, um, and as I hinted in my last video, which, uh, which showed me unsuccessfully attempting to build a model metal train, uh, I said that we're gonna stick to Legolas for now. We built the Steamboat Willie one last week, like I said a few minutes ago, and I mentioned on that video that the next one on our radar screen was the Friends Lego set. That's right, we got the Friends set. We got Monica, we got Chandler, we got Joey, we got Phoebe, Rachel, and Ross. We even got Gunther. That's right, Gunther, the Central Perk uh, employee, is also part of this Friends Lego set. So it's really cool. Uh, we'll be back in a second. Check out this quick video, uh, this quick time-lapse video that shows my kids and I building the set, and then we'll get back uh, in a moment to talk about the set itself and show you some of the cool features. Be right back. <laughs> So we are back. Uh, thank you for watching that time-lapse video. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I've never really done one of those before, but it was uh, it was fun to do as we built the set. And here you are looking live at the completed set itself. Um, 
This one is cool too. I mentioned on the Steamboat Willie set that it's sometimes fun to see the functionality of the set um, and then to be able to play with them and to see the, the moving pieces and things like that. I will say this one doesn't have as much of that. Uh, however, the, the features and the accuracy of the, of the set here, which uh, takes place inside Central Perk, which you can see, of course, the fan coffee shop from the, from the Friends uh, series, is the, um, the setting for where our friends are gathering. And so on the couch here, you have Monica and Rachel, of course. Uh, I'm sorry, Monica and Chandler, with Rachel in the background. As you remember early in the series, Rachel worked at Central Perk, so there she is with her, with her tray, uh, serving coffee, Joey. Um, again, there's some, some of the things that I like about this set are some of the subtle nods to trivia moments from the show. So Joey's got a, a satchel around his shoulder, which uh, was in that one episode where he wanted to look sophisticated. And I think Rachel was actually the one that uh, influenced this. He bought himself a purse or a man purse that he wore for one episode that he thought was uh, the coolest thing in the world. So his figure comes with his purse and of course a slice of pizza as well as a pizza box. Um, and you want him to hold the box in the set so he's, the pizza is actually sitting next to Chandler. Chandler is holding his briefcase He's got his transponder uniform on. That's another funny uh, moment from the series there where they were all trying to guess Chandler's profession. Nobody knew what it was. And Rachel made up the infamous word of transponder. So Chandler's looking pretty sharp in his business uh, attire. Ross has his uh, patented look there with his uh, tan jacket and uh, suit combination. And Phoebe's all the way over here. Um, playing the guitar, uh, getting ready to sing uh, Smelly Cat, I imagine. And as I mentioned, um, Monica is next to Chandler there on the couch. She's got a brownie in her hand or a cupcake. Uh, it's a nod to her profession as a chef. could also be a subtle nod to the fact that she was uh, a bit of a sweet eater in her youth as the show uh, pointed out at points. I mentioned earlier that Gunther is part of the set. Looks like he fell over here in my uh, when I moved him over. There's Gunther there. He's got a broom in his hand. There's Gunther. We'll stick him back on the set here in a second. Um, so yeah, uh, not as much um, in terms of being able to play with it as, as the Steamboat Willie one. Like I mentioned, there's no moving parts or things like that, but the features are still very, very impressive and the details are quite incredible. So you have you have the cafe, like I said, you have Phoebe playing the guitar. They got the microphone stand that comes with the set. Uh, there's a piano that you could put in the set as well. You have the, uh, the couch with the reserved sign. Nobody dare better take these friends' seats away from them. Uh, there's a newspaper that everybody's reading. Uh, you got it. Uh, th I thought this was kind of cool as well. An umbrella stand back here. So uh, there's a place by the front door for people to put their umbrellas when they walk in. There's the cash register here, um, as you can see. So this is the counter where people come and get service, as the arrow indicates. And um, yeah, just some coffee mugs, some coffee pots. Over here is... Uh, let me see if I can get this just right. Probably can't read that too well, but it's it's uh, the menu board for Central Perk. So it looks like a chalkboard that has writing on there with all the the menu items and such. Um, so yeah, I mean this one again, unlike Steamboat Willie, unlike some of the others, not one that you would necessarily play with. I, I can't see much playing happening with this one, but it's probably geared toward folks like me who grew up watching this show. It came out in 1994. I was a teenager. Uh, so, you know, I built the set purely for nostalgia purposes and uh, to bring my children into the fold, as it were, in terms of sharing with them some of my favorite uh, memories as, as, uh, as a youngster and my favorite TV shows. The crazy thing is, you know, like I said, I'm in my older son's room as we speak. He'll be 11 this fall. And so he, he's nearly the age I was when I first started watching the show in 1994. Uh, he's, he's, he's older than I was when I first started watching Beverly Hills 90210. Uh, my younger son is eight. He, you know, he's, he's, he was older than I was when I started watching movies like Back to the Future and The Karate Kid and all those great movies of the 80s and even my five-year-old daughter. I mean, I was, I was four when The Karate Kid came out and she's now five. So it's just crazy um, how, how time moves on and now I'm able to share all these cool things with my kids 
And again, it's been another fun activity for us to do while we're hanging out inside during this really crazy time. Thank you to the coronavirus. So another Lego set down. We did Steamboat Willie. We did the friend set. I got a few more in the queue, including the big 3000 piece Cinderella castle. The kids are begging me to start that one. That one we got this past Christmas. So hasn't been in the closet for too long. Still, it's been about three months or so, four months. So we'll give that a whirl soon. And there will be a video to follow, of course, as always. So thanks for watching. Um, and we hope you, uh, you're having some fun and doing the things that make you happy with your family and your friends. Haha, <laughs> get it, friends. All right, take care, guys. Till next time.